Like with the rest of the world, the current COVID-19 situation has driven many workers at the UN to work from home. Likewise, many interns at UN offices are now performing their work as part of a remote internship. This has prompted senior management at the UN to consider remote internships on a permanent basis, even after the COVID-19 crisis ends. But this is actually a bad idea. The UN Internship Program is a great way to gain relevant work experience and be exposed to international politics at its highest level. However, it also has many drawbacks. If you look at any internship job opening on the UN Careers website, you will find that UN internships are unpaid. And this UN report shows that this leads to a diversity issue where the majority of UN interns are actually coming from only a handful of countries, mostly developed countries, since these interns are usually the ones who are able to pay for their cost of living while working without a stipend. To solve this lack of diversity, it is tempting to resort to remote internships, specifically to allow young people from developing countries to participate in the internship program at the UN. As of May 2020, many UN interns are already performing their work as part of a remote internship, but this is not an ideal working environment for interns at all. The Fair Internship Initiative recently conducted a survey among UN interns, which found out that remote internships pose significant mental and occupational difficulties to interns and their teams. This shows that the current remote internships are a necessary yet unsatisfactory practice and should not become permanent. To add to this, the Fair Internship Initiative identified five major problems with remote internships. The reinforcement of the lack of diversity, the impact on educational aspects, the impact on mental health, operational costs, and the impact on the quality of work. If instituted permanently, remote internships actually do not address the lack of diversity at all. They would effectively establish first and second classes of internships, reinforcing the existing discrimination due to the lack of payment, and even introducing a new divide between those who can afford a more valuable in-person internship and those who cannot. An internship is first and foremost a learning experience. However, remote internships limit the educational component of an internship and will lead to an intern's work being focused predominantly on achieving deliverables. As such, remote interns will not be able to properly acquire social and soft skills that are necessary for the job market. The current COVID-19 situation shows that many people already feel isolated. With remote internships, interns are at risk to feel isolated from their offices as they won't have any chance to meet their colleagues and socialize with other interns. Additionally, a remote internship can blur the line between the professional and the personal sphere, leading to a work-life imbalance. What's even more striking is that remote internships put the operational costs of an intern's work on the intern themselves, as they would then have to use their own personal computer and pay for their own internet access. Ultimately, remote internships also impact the quality of work, especially for the supervisor, as interns would then become overly dependent on their supervisor. This could lead to a supervisor neglecting either the usual workload or the intern. Generally, remote internships lead to a system that reinforces already existing risks within the UN internship program while creating new ones. But there is hope. Since not everyone within the senior management group at the UN wants to institute remote internships, like for instance Inger Andersen, the executive director of the United Nations Environment Program, who stated in a virtual town hall, Making it entirely virtual is not an, as enriching an experience as it should be. I do think it's time to reset the entire internship program of the United Nations. If I, and if I could single-handedly, I can assure you that I would. Um, because I think for interns, they should obviously, in my humble opinion, be paid. The Fair Internship Initiative is currently mobilizing against remote internships on a permanent basis. If you want to support the Fair Internship Initiative, you can sign the open letter to the UN Secretary General, which you will find in the description of this video. The UN Secretary needs to understand that unpaid remote internships, even if they are only partially remote, are not a permanent solution to the problem of the UN Internship Program. Much rather, the UN Internship Program, like Inger Andersen said, needs to be reformed and ensure that interns are paid.